it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. I hope that you are all doing well. It has been quite some time since I last recorded a video. I thank you so much for your patience as I navigate through my busy schedule. Creating videos is so much fun. It's the editing process that often takes a lot of time. If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I'm always active there and creating short reels is so much easier and faster to put out than sometimes a YouTube video is. So if you aren't already, please make sure you're following me on Instagram at mymoxydreams and you will see kind of more of a day-to-day -day and fun reels that I put out quite frequently. Today I wanted to share a flip through of my Gilio Medium Campagna XL in Macchiato Ostrich print. It was part of the sample sale and I absolutely love the Medium Campagna XL size. I tried an Amica and I loved it because of its small footprint and compact size. And then with the sample sale, I decided I would try the medium XL size and I actually love it. I love it. The lighting isn't too great this morning, so it's kind of showing up more of a brown color than it is this natural tan color. But if again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the true color of it that's not picking up on this video. All right, let's jump in. So this is my ostrich print in Gilio Medium Campania XL. It was part of the sample sale. I just love it. It's got 30 millimeter rings and I absolutely freaking love it. I can't even tell you how much I love this planner. Let's jump right in. All right, as you can see, she is chunky. Like, look at her. She is chunky monkey. And I don't know how people do it. See how this is like folding inward and some of the inserts here, but I everything in here I absolutely need. It's not like I'm just being a dork about my inserts. So I have a cheat sheet on the side to help me remember where I got things and whatnot. So let's start here with this charm. I had this particular piece. It was attached to a tassel, a jewelry tassel. And I had my daughter, she has all the jewelry tools and like pliers and stuff. So she took this particular little leaf out and this kind of like turquoise colory bead and I was able to put it here. The reason I normally don't like charms, however, I needed it because for whatever reason, this particular zipper is hard to open and close with just its normal little tab. So by adding this, um, it makes it easier and it doesn't, scratch the flyleaf or anything because you can see that the flyleaf is quite shorter than my inserts. So that's that. I don't really have anything in here, I don't think. Oh, I have some stickers that I got from Tahoe from our trip to Tahoe. I gotta file those away. In here, in this little side, I have a ruler, a Franklin Covey ruler. I just like having a ruler to either draw things or measure specific inserts or whatever. So I just put some washi tape on the edge because I cut the holes off of it and just put some washi tape so that I can keep it here and grab it when I need it. I have some page flags that I got from Daiso and then this gorgeous laminated bookmark is from Divine Plans, D-V-N-I Plans. I ordered it from Itzy, I love it, it's adorable. It just creates like a colorful neutral palette, which I love. I just had this little plastic thing from some order I had and I just cut it down to hold all my favorite stickers. So I have, I just got these from Daiso and I love it because this is currently the color that I'm in, this like turquoisey blue. And of course, Hey Planner Girl stickers that I love, some Daiso dots, and more Hey Planner Girl. So these are kind of stickers that I use quite often and I keep them in my little side pocket. Of course, Ollie Clip. I've been an Ollie Clip fan since 2017, 18, whenever I went to PlannerCon. This quote card is unbothered, in my lane, happy, focused, and flourishing. This is from Planner Press. I just went ahead and, and um, rounded the corners. 
This is a quote card I made on my silhouette and it's on a cardstock. However, my printer, for whatever reason, will not print on cardstock. And I have the HP ProJet 8710. It's quite older, but it's such a good printer. I refuse to switch it out. However, the feeder won't take the cardstock. It's like too thick and it just gets jammed or it gets stuck. So what I've done is I cut things out on my silhouette. I just printed them on transparent sticker paper and then cut it to size on my cardstock that was cut to size. This I made on Canva. It has pictures. You guys have seen this multiple times of my family. And we'll just put this back here. I made this on Canva. It's just on acetate. It says 2022 with some florals. My beloved floral girl. This is from Hey Planner Girl. It's a perpetual calendar. On the back, it is a year at a glance. I have no idea who I got this year at a glance. Maybe Doa Inspiring Designs. I have my monthlies that are from Franklin Covey. And these are compact size. This is the Her Point of View. Again, they're just the monthlies. You'll see January through December. I take my current month and I put it near my weeklies and dailies. You'll see that shortly. So there are the monthlies. This is a Franklin Covey business card holder. I just created photos and cut them to size to fit here. Sorry. So, and then these cards, oh man, I'll post it down below where I got these cute little inspirational cards. I purchased some artwork and then created a little dashboard on Canva and laminated it. So on the other side, it's clear. And then I just have cloth and paper appointment post-its and then just some blank post-its that I got at Staples. And then these post-its are from Mochi Things. I love these post-its. They're mini size. They fit perfectly in my compact. I'm constantly in this area grabbing these when I need them. And so I just love it. This particular frosted tab or frosted dashboard, I can't remember where I got it from, maybe Planner Press. It's just perfect to hold my post-its. On the other side, I have the page flags that are actually poppins. And I use these often as well. So I have them here for me. You have my Franklin Covey Planner Love Compact Bookmark. And then you have just a bunch of different note pages because this is my landing spot. This is where I make all my junky notes, as you can see here. So the way this works is you, I am a, I've mentioned this multiple times that I'm a top tab and bottom tab kind of a girl. So this particular bookmark takes me right into the most used place, which is if I need a post-it, if I need to jot down notes, it's there. So I have just blank notes, I have graph paper, and then at the very back, I have meeting notes, and these meeting notes came from Simple and Trendy Co. Okay, then we just have another floral girl there for me, and then here we go, the current month. So again, I have the entire year here, but my current month is always in the center near my weekly. So here's my current month. I have these frosted tabs. Again, my bottom tabs, top tabs, and my side tabs are all from Planner Press. I put a brand new order in. I actually like them very much. They're very sturdy and I love them. Again, Franklin Covey compact size, okay? So there's my current month. This is a sticker from Paper Panda. I have some vellum that I printed on Canva and it's just all kind of stuck together. I have my weeklies. These are my previous weeklies. And then I have a seed quote. That's one of my favorite quotes. This particular insert is on my Etsy shop so you can print it. I have it printed and then laminated. Then I have right before you go into my current week, I have pantry inventory. So I did a master kind of pantry inventory, freezer, fridge, and pantry. In the back, I have 
the shopping list for the week. So I knew Monday I was making quesadillas, Tuesday tostadas, Wednesday we're making breakfast burritos for dinner, Thursday Frito Boats, Friday Chicken Orzo, Saturday Tuna Sandwiches, and Sunday Pork Tenderloin. As we follow these meal plan, I then go here and check it off. So like yesterday we made a pesto chicken orzo. I used one of my chicken breasts in my freezer. I take it out so that I know I'm down to six chicken breasts instead of seven. And that way it makes it easy for me to week to week to be able to see what I can use. So you'll see here that if it's in gray, it's stuff I have in my pantry. And if it's in this turquoise color, which is the color of the month for me right now, then that's what I have to go buy. And that week I spent $40 and used primarily what was in my pantry. Okay, so then you go into my weekly. This is my current week. I redid my front page to work for me. Again, I still have priorities meal plan. I have my weekly track tracker with my information and then I have planned outings. I have these here to remind myself to get the kids out every week. This is what my week at a glance looks like. On the back of the page on Etsy this doesn't say work brain dump it says notes and I think down here it says doodles. I personalize my inserts. Clearly I create them so I can personalize them. I reference this to see if it's, there's anything I need to migrate into my work planner. This is a piece of acetate with my beautiful florals and it just separates the, the current week from the weeks to come. Then this is the little two pocket gel thing that I got from Cat Espresso. And then again, these are cards that I made on Silhouette, cut on Silhouette, and then printed the quotes and things on sticker paper and then placed them on my card stock that I cut with the Silhouette. So these are some of my favorite little quotes. Okay, I haven't used dailies since I worked for Merrill Lynch in my early 20s. I decided I wanted to try dailies. So I purchased these dailies from Simple and Trendy Co. I just want to say I adore that shop. I adore that shop. As you can see here, they come blank, right? They come blank like this, but they don't have a number here. It's just you write in your date, your month, whatever you want. So as you can see, when I started playing with these at the beginning of July, I had Happy Planner number sticker book and I started to do this where I put the day, you know, the date here, I'd write in July, write in Tuesday. And I did that and I really liked it. Like I really liked it. I liked the way that it, the numbers were just prominent. And surprisingly enough, I've been using these along with my weeklies and I love them, okay? I personalize it, I have a color of the month which as you can see here in my weeklies is this Tombow teal color. I'll list the number below, but this Tombow teal color, and then I add all the stickers. I create the stickers on Canva, print them on my silhouette and cut them out. And then I just kind of sprinkle them wherever. But I fell in love with these freaking dailies. Okay, love them, love them, love them. However, I ran out of Happy Planner stickers. I wasn't gonna go buy Happy Planner stickers for the numbers. I checked on Etsy. I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. So I went down the rabbit hole of stamps and spent probably $100 on stamps. And I even purchased these endless stamps on eBay, They no, on Etsy. I don't know where I bought them, Amazon. This is like 50 bucks this cost me. Don't like them. I'm trying to sell them. So if you're interested in buying these, they're not ginormous, but they're kind of ginormous. If you go on my Instagram, it's on my highlights. It says D stash. It has the details if you're interested in that. I'm not selling them for $50, so don't worry about that. But I went down this st the stamp rabbit hole and spent $100 on stamps. Different sizes of numbers. I did it all. None of it worked. And then I'm like thinking one day, why don't I just reach out to 
the Simple and Trendy Co. and ask her to customize it for me so that there's a text box here, a big text box where I can add the date. This woman is so amazing. She did that for me instantly. Two minutes later, she had it customized. She sent it to me. I paid her the minimal, I think I spent $5 and I had wasted $100 on stamps. That's how bonkers and fixated I get. She allowed a text box here so that I can customize my inserts. And now I can put the numbers at the top, which I freaking love. I love Beyond Words. And so this is what they look like, blank. And then I add my color of the month and then florals to just to make it pop. So these are dailies from Simple and Trendy Co. She's amazing. Go visit her shop on Etsy. If you want something and you want it customized, just reach out to her. She will do it. I love my dailies. I didn't think I was going to love my dailies as much as I do. It works so perfectly with my weeklies that I don't know how I was not using dailies before, but I love them. Another uh, just divider dashboard. My to-do list, I created this on Canva. I have my first tab, my first divider is to-do. And I have these stop procrastinating little sheets. I created them. I'm thinking about putting them on Etsy. I'm not sure. If you're interested, let me know. This is a Simple and Trendy Co. list. Let's see. I don't even think I have any more because I use them all the freaking time. But they're, they have all these like independent, six independent boxes. You can title it whatever you want. For instance, this one I'm using for my son's birthday in Tahoe. We have guests we know how many days we're going to be there and so we're trying to plan out what meals we're going to make for everybody or i'm trying to plan out because i'm the chef for my son's birthday weekend so we know we're going to be there for friday for breakfast and lunch just me and the kids and then people arrive that evening so we have dinner and then the following saturday we have breakfast lunch and dinner that i need to plan out and then Sunday we have, you know, I think just breakfast because everybody's going to leave right after, right before lunch. And then I just have a packing list of things that I need to take for that Tahoe trip. So I love this insert. Again, Simple and Trendy Co. has quickly become one of my favorites. So I just have a couple, a couple of different um, to-do pages here that work for me. I have a trigger list that I got from Brown Plans. It's nice to have. I typically don't need a trigger list, but I, I saw this and thought it would be useful. Again, another cute little Canva insert. The next one is lists. Now, normally this is called trackers, but the specific stickers that I had doesn't come with trackers. So I had to put lists, even though it's really trackers. This is a Hey Planner Girl tracker, which I love. It just tracks different things. I have social media, emotions, sleep. The back has some personal information. Then you have my orders, log, things I order, things I'm waiting for to arrive, things like that. I have my watching. Again, these I make easily on Canva, so it's not something I buy, it's something that I make. I think there's something similar to this, like Peanuts Planner Co. has something. There's so many out there, and because Canva's so amazing, it's easy sometimes to make something rather than to go buy it, or if you go buy it, it doesn't have the customization that you want. So for me, I make most all my inserts. So all of these I've pretty much made on Canva. So this is my watching, where it has all the things I've watched or watching or I'm waiting for the season to come, where it's at, Netflix, Apple TV, Hulu Prime, or Network TV. This is from Plan With B. I just put it in here. IH means in hand, B means in books, A is Audible, K is Kindle. Then I have a reoccurring task. I have household, this I made on Canva. The back has variable bills, Etsy shop, and pets. Again, another Simple and Trendy Co. list. This is my home inventory. So I have Brita filters for breeze, toilet paper, whatever. And once um, a month, I check inventory and update it. This is erasable. So I'm able to erase the amounts and put them in as needed. There's so many ways to use this insert. I love her so much. This is my planners. The ones that are highlighted are the ones I had. 
and the ones that aren't highlighted are the ones I'm still looking for. So you see a medium XL, I'm looking for the matte blue croco and the Apoca green. I still have the personal wide, my FC, my compacts, my miscellaneous planner. So this kind of just lets me know what I have in stock and what I'm, my wish list. My insert musts, I haven't really completed this. I haven't had time, but these are the main places that I go to for inserts. Franklin Covey, Doa Inspiring Designs, Plan to Create, Simple and Trendy Co, Hey Planner Girl. I have our kayak camping, all the things we have, things we're still waiting to get. These are inserts that I keep track of um, income that comes in when it's miscellaneous income. So it's like Google AdSense, Instagram, my side job for the interior designer, things like that. This I printed off of Tombow. It was actually a letter size and I shrunk it down to fit into my compact. And it basically is a color chart and I have put all the colors that I have so that I know. Um, I, I will be doing a video on my Tombow wrap that I bought here at my local art store that I actually love, love, love. Then we go into my goals tab. Again, another Canva photo. You have some vellum. You have a tool and twine freebie. On the back, it has a two year at a glance. I have this um, self care day on acetate and it is from My Minimal Planner. I actually love it. It's against this floral acetate, which just makes it look beautiful. Then you go into my health tab, which is a top tab within goals. Under goals, I have health and social media. This is from Hey Planner Girl. It's a yearly overview and monthly overview, Ollie Clip. I was ashamed to share how much I weighed. At this point, I really don't care. I'm now 50 pounds lighter. I have 20 pounds left to go. I'm super ecstatic and happy that I was able to get myself out of that rut. I have a Perfectionism Prints workout log. It was part of a bundle. I didn't like anything in the bundle, but this particular workout log. Then you go into my social media tab, and this was, I created on Canva. It was inspired by, I wanna say her name is Marie. I can't remember her name, but I'll list it down below. I love watching her. She does like a million reels a day, and she's so amazing. So I've been tracking my way to 10,000. It's been slow and steady, but I'm not really big on numbers, but I just thought it was cute to track it because she tracks it and I just adore her. This is from Plan to Create. She no longer has these on her Etsy shop, but I used this particular one for July to record reels. Like on Saturday the 2nd, I recorded 12 reels and then I plan them out for the week. So every day I'm posting one reel because I recorded 12 that particular day. So it's just a tracker. Then I have a uh, another plan to create yearly fold out. It tracks my Instagram posts and my Instagram reels so that at a glance I can see. So you can see when I started doing reels because the beginning of the year I was like, I don't like doing reels. Now I love them more than YouTube videos because it takes five minutes to quickly put a reel together and then it's like out there and you're getting a lot of engagement on Instagram. All right, so now we're in our bills tab and I found this at a, I think at a Hallmark or something and I just cut it down. It's a, it's a card that I cut down. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. This is for me to remind myself not to spend money. I made this little laminated sheet that has all my bills and income and then the back has a color key plus all my monthly subscriptions and annual subscriptions. I have my budget per paycheck. These I made years and years ago. I just perfected them for myself. And I, again, made these on Canva. So I have a budget per paycheck. I've been a budget per paycheck since the inception of time. I think since I first became employed, I've always been a budget per paycheck. I just haven't, it's evolved and become better with time. And so these are my budget per paychecks. On the back, it has extra income besides my payroll. 
these are all, you know, checking withdrawal, blah, blah, blah. And then I have a savings summary that says, how much do I have in savings? Did I have to transfer money into or out of savings in order to pay this payroll's bills? And then a new savings amount. Then you go into bills due. So I used to have Franklin Covey Carreras here, but it was just bulking up my planner. So what I decided to do is I have these plan to create fold outs that I absolutely love. Again, she doesn't make them anymore. So she sent me a blank one, like, I don't know, last year, I wanna say late last year, she sent me a blank one so that I could just write in whatever I want. So what I did was I put the year and the month, I put income here so that this at a glance just shows me what income and when it hit. And then the interior of it, let me scoot it down, shows expenses and the month here, and it just shows all my bills, right? And then if they're highlighted, that means they already posted in my checking. And so you can see here that I have Netflix hasn't hit nor my insurance. And then the back, I created miscellaneous expenses, description, amount, and source. The interior here is all my standard bills. That's all my bills. All these things are like extra things that weren't included, are not included in my monthly expenses. And so this just shows me where I spent money, if I used my Chase card, my AMX card, if I pulled it from savings or my checking account. And it just helps me keep track of my spending I have August ready to go. This is my daily checking transaction. It's basically your check register. I keep that here. I do my banking every morning. So I'm always on my bank and checking my online banking. This is my savings, same thing. I'm, I kind of know where that's at, it doesn't change very much. This print is on my Etsy shop. You can print it. I printed it on Bellum, I love it. I have three outstanding balances, my car note, and then the kids' braces. Again, zero interest, so I'm not in any rush to pay those off. I have one of my 401k, my current 401ks in here, my HRA balance, my FSA, FSA balance. Then I have a spend tracker tab down below, and this is where I record my American Express balance and my chase balances i pay off my credit cards at the end of the month of the full balance so i don't carry balances over so i have a new sheet every month so like this does not close until the august 15th this doesn't close until august 13th so i know i'm gonna have more charges hopefully not i've been trying to cut back on spending then i have my credit score i check my credit score at the end of every month. So I have TransUnion and Equifax. And then behind here I have, see how crazy chunky this is? Back here I have my annual salary, my bonus percentage, all the stuff related to my work, my benefits. And then I have credit limits and my a quick reference on credit card. So sometimes, most often I leave my wallet in the car and then when I'm trying to purchase something and I need my you know work credit card, I have a sheet that has like a quick cheat sheet on my credit card. Okay, so then we go into the family tab and you have beautiful photos of my gorgeous family, my dad, my mom, my kids. Then I have a home tab. And so these are post-its, or no, these are sticky flags and I used my label maker to put the places that we often go in the year so that I can quickly say, oh, we're going to Hawaii this October. I can just put it and then block off the dates on my monthly calendar. So these are just quick reference and I can use them over and over again. Then I have this particular one is Dear Planner. I think digital downloads and this is just a blank monthly and then I date it and then this is what I'm watching. So you'll see I'm watching Big Brother, Real Housewives, Loot, Married at First Sight, RuPaul, Below Deck. I write down when they are showing and then when I'm bored and I have free time, I'll be like, oh, did I watch this week's RuPaul? Let's watch it. All right, this is just probably doesn't need to be in here. This is a daily schedule created on Canva. 
have my routines, my cleaning checklist, a trigger list for meals that I can make, auto maintenance just to show when and what I've done. I have a garden tab. This one is from Doa Inspiring Designs. It's a fold out for the whole year and I love it. I keep track of when I planted things, when I've had to pull things out, blah, 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 from my garden. I have a vegetable guide. I have my vegetable beds so that I know what I planted and where. So I've got plenty of beds and what's planted there. Then I have a kids tab, a doctor's tab, and a miscellaneous tab, all personal information there that I'm not gonna share. And then at the very back, I have some, again, mochi and things, a blank to-do list. It's kind of long and I like it for just random stuff. These cards are more decorative. I don't use them, but they're from Hey Planner Girl when she had her regular shop open. And then I have her planner sizes and insert resizing. I don't think I have anything back here. Nope. And then I have my Frickson pin and that is it people. That is a long flip through. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I haven't done one in a while, so maybe this is longer than it should be, but she is a chunky monkey. I'm in love with her. It is just perfection. And I don't know what to say other than I love this planner. I am gonna have a hard time getting out of this planner. If I do move out of her, I might go back into the chocolate Aurora, but I love every single piece of it. I just, I adore her. So at any rate, I hope if you're still with me at the end of this, you are a rock star. I've missed you guys. I hope to be doing some plan with me's soon. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I beg of you to go to my Instagram at my moxie dreams to go follow me there because I'm active there every single day. I do stories, I do reels, I post almost every day. So if you aren't already following me, please head over there and follow, but I will be adding more content to YouTube soon. I send you all my love and I hope to see you soon. Bye.